Hey, what's up? Welcome to my language. This is my cool language. It's called uh, uh, That's roughly how you'd pronounce it. I'm not, I'm not very good at speaking my own language here though. It's by me. I'm Miles. Hi. Uh, the joke. Uh, I just want to make an annoying language that's technically functional. Be funny. Bring a bit of humor to the table. And I'm going to accomplish that by uh, having a horrid writing system. Just really bad. And uh, it's almost impossible to use. It's, it's, uh, it's, very, it's a very difficult language. So the phonology and stuff, um, the, it's a completely tonal language. There are no consonants and you can use any vowel, uh, but it, the language does require the ability to make multiple sounds at once, which is, uh, humans can't do that. So here are the five tones, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. Here's the written form, one represents C, two represents C sharp, and so on and so forth. These little uh, ditties here uh, help with some extra stuff, like, you know, this uh, up arrow, up an octave, underscore down an octave. Uh, the dash extends a tone, which means it covers twice as much ground you save for twice as long. Commas mean that the following tone is pronounced at the exact same time as the uh, first one or the prior one. And periods separate words. The order of the numbers when written are from earliest to latest, lowest to highest. Yeah, here's an example. Uh, so these two are both the earliest, but this one is the lowest. So that is written first. It's the C uh, sharp tone, so it's written as two. Since this one goes uh, at the same time, there's a comma and it's the fourth tone so four and it extends for twice as long so you put a dash and then here we got the third tone there's three and this is a separate word a separate idea so period and then five five because it's the fifth tone so this phrase means to uh, to gross out a language uh, and if you take away the this which verbifies this which otherwise means gross it, you get the the name of the language, so it, it means gross language. Proper nouns and loan words are represented as they uh, would be in English, so no change there. Uh, octave usage. The high octave is used to express various things, such as uh, intention is a pretty used one, and by means of ability, order of words, uh, things like first, second, and next. A low octave. We're not going to worry about that. I didn't use it during translation of this paragraph. It's uh, optional. It's optional clarification of nouns. There's an exception to the octaves. The higher octave occasionally do not apply because you need them to form verbs, which I'm going to talk about next. And any noun becomes a verb by placing a higher tone on top of it. If the higher tone that you're placing on top of it is uh, one higher, it's a negative form. And if it's two higher, it's positive. So this uh, two, it's, uh, it means sight, eye, vision, etc. And if you play that at the same time, as you see here with the comma, the third tone uh, right next to each other, it's to not watch. So it's a verb now and it's negative and then if you do the second higher tone so two higher from two it's positive so it's to watch the second tone extends as the first does and when there are multiple lower tones as well there are no verb tenses I'm going to explain it a little better with this image again. As I said, this is a verb. It goes off of the first base tone. Two higher than that is this guy here, so it's a positive verb. So it means to gross out and not to not gross out. Since there are these two guys here that form the word gross, the verb tone extends across both of them instead of just the first one. Now here are the sentences. I color-coded them to make it easier in this part. All of the verbs are in red. There's those again. And here's these. And here's how it would be written normally as a paragraph. And since it's easier for an instrument to pronounce this language than a person, I transcribed it onto piano. Agma schwa. There you have it. How human can use this language. Because humans can't make more than one noise at once, I made some signs so people can actually use the language. It is possible to use. You verbalize the bass tones uh, and add respective sign with dominant hand. If you hold up two while saying the bass tone, you make it a positive verb, and then a one, it's a negative verb. Let's look at this guy here. He's saying uh, the second verb extended, which means knowledge. He's holding up a one with his dominant hand, so it's a negative verb, and he's holding up two with his other hand in the air so it's the upper octave and that means with intention so i don't uh want to know is what he's saying right there here i made a little video of me speaking in this way with the hand signs uh, 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 uh.
uh, uh, the sign language form because there are five tones and uh, each hand has five digits. It's possible to use this language exclusively as a sign language, but I haven't finished making the sign form yet, so it doesn't matter even. Uh, sorry if this sucks. Uh, it's an incomplete language, and there's a link to the word list in the description.